All right, in this video, this is going to be uh, part three um, of revisiting the text global variable. And here is the next question, too. And it's, it's a good question. What if you don't want to close the other one when you press another one? What if you don't want to close the music when you press the clock? Um, what if you want them both open? So here's how you can do that. Um, using the text global and using an on-off switch. Notice I've added two more pieces down here since the part one and part two. So this still opens the dock up here. This opens the music, and now the clock opens the clock. There you go. See what I'm saying? Now you have both of these opened up, and a one is really showing that uh, music is on. Now if I press this, music, whoops. If I press M, music becomes zero. It goes away. If I press C, C becomes zero. It goes away. And we can actually you know, go back and forth between these. And this down here is just for testing purposes. And now watch what happens. If I do this, everything still goes away. So this is a mixture of the text global variable and the on off switch. So opening, uh, pressing this again, as you can see now, you know, everything's closed down except for the dock. There's our music, there's our clock. We can close each one independently of the other. I'm just opening and closing as I wish, and then again you press that magic circle one more time and it all goes away. So uh, let me switch over to my cell phone and go into KLWP. And what you want to do here for this, um, you're going to have to change a few things if you've been doing following the first two videos. Create two on-off switches as you can see here, music, um, and just use the on-off switch and create one called clock or whatever you want to call them. Now let me show you what I've done here. It's a basic on-off switch except for right here to have it cut off auto off you want to do gv go equals zero remember um, back in part one of this little series of videos i said zero think of it as closing everything um, when we press that magic circle so still even though this is an on off switch it's going to automatically cut off when gv go becomes zero and remember if we press this circle here that will set that gv go to zero and um, there you go, you know, that's the same thing for clock and music. I forgot which one I just showed you, but uh, there's clock, GVGO equals zero, and there is um, music. Now, what else do you have to fix? You have to go back into the items. You have to change the touch of each one of these things. Remember the, the M and the C that we had up here? Change your touch to where it toggles the global switch music. This is the one for the letter M, the M circle. We just want to toggle that global switch music. Go back and change your um, the C. Go to touch, toggle global switch clock. So that's what, basically those switches are just cutting it on and off, on and off, on and off. And then what you also have to change is the way these things are animating. So if you go to your music overlap group, the one that I have sliding out here, if we go to animation, um, we have it animating on a global switch. It's none of that formula stuff now. So again, the, the plus side to this technique versus the other stuff I've showed you so far is that we can have the music and the clock opened up. Um, one does not close when you open the other one. However, when you still press that magic circle, everything goes away. And I hope you did see that back at the beginning of this video. Um, and again, just go back and do the same thing for your... Uh, clock right here, animation, global switch, um, and all I'm doing is changing that uh, global switch and you know you gotta pick the right global switch obviously so um, clock there. But a couple of changes but yet um, again that kinda gives it a whole different look, a whole different way that it operates and as you can see here everything like I said this is just what I was talking about at the beginning. I'm just opening each one separately and you can close them all still with that master circle. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.